Governor has appointed John Lincoln to fill the vacancy in the Alaska House of Representatives, District 40. Subject to confirmation by the House Democrats, John Lincoln will hold this office for the remainder of the unexpired term for House District 40. A letter dated January 25 was read requesting legislative concurrence to fund the initial initial finance plan as required by AS 2623-020 for the 2017 North Slope storm disaster. The letter and finance plan were copied to the Finance Committee co-chairs. I have no further messages from the Governor today, Mr. Speaker. Madam Clerk, are there any messages from the other body? A message dated January 29 Setting the Senate has passed and is transmitting the following for consideration. Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 14, Decoration of Honor Award. Brief at ease. SC-14 will be referred to the House Special Committee on Military and Veterans Affairs. Madam Clerk. I have no further messages from the other body. Are there any communications? A letter dated January 17 was received from Craig Stowers, Chief Justice of the Alaska Supreme Court, stating that he nominated Dennis Skip Cook to serve on the Select Committee on Legislative Ethics pursuant to AS-246130. Uh, that would be referred to the Judiciary Committee. The Department of Administration Office of Administrative Hearings 14th Annual Report, Department of Health and Social Services Annual Report FY 2017, Department of Natural Resources Division of Oil and Gas Five-Year Program of Proposed Oil and Gas Lease Sales and Gas Only Lease Sales, a letter dated January 25 from Speaker Edgman stating this letter affirms that on January 25, 2018, the members of the House of Representatives, who are Democrats, unanimously confirmed the governor's appointment of John Lincoln to fill the vacant seat in House District 40 on January 25, 2015. He signed the letter on behalf of the Alaska House Democrats and the members of the Alaska House Majority Coalition. I have no further communications. At this time, without going into an at ease, I'd like to ask the indulgence of the body. Would Representative Foster and Representative Millette please escort John Lincoln into the chambers?
Mr. Lincoln, per your request, I'm going to put your family Bible on the rostrum here, and I'm going to ask you to please raise your right hand and repeat after me, inserting your name after the word I. I. I, Agnaklip John Bagerstrom Lincoln. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Alaska. And the Constitution of the State of Alaska. And that I will faithfully discharge my duties. And that I will faithfully discharge my duties. As state representative to the best of my ability. As state representative to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Representative Lincoln. Welcome to Alaska Legislature. Thank you. Without any objection, moving back up the calendar to introduction of guests, the floor is yours, Representative Lincoln. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I uh, just want to take a minute to acknowledge uh, a few friends and family that were able to, to join us today. So if you're here to, from Kotzebue, would you please stand? I won't, uh, I won't introduce all of them, but my immediate family, I've got my, my mother, Cindy Lincoln, is here. She teaches health occupations at the Tech Center in Kotzebue. And my, my sister, Megan Lincoln, is also with us. She's an optometrist at the health center there in Kotzebue. I also have uh, two other sisters, Dory and Anna Lincoln, that, that aren't here today. And uh, if I may, I'd also like to acknowledge my dad, Richard Lincoln, who passed away last month. And, I, it still feels really present to, to me and others that loved him, so thank you. <laughs> Representative Millett. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, be the first poach from our new representative, but I'd like to introduce um, Representative Reggie Jewell, who's sitting in the Taylor Gallery, and he's here to see the new representative get seated. And uh, Reggie has a long history in our body, uh, Mr. Speaker, and we've all, many of us have served with Reggie and continue to call on him for advice and counsel as we sit in our seats still. So it's my great honor if the body would help me represent, uh, help me in, uh, welcome Representative Reggie Jewell. Representative Jewell, as a former member of this body, it's my distinct privilege to give you the honor of the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge that uh, Senator Olson is in the Pradovich Gallery, or at least was a moment ago. I'd like to thank you for being here as part of the swearing-in ceremony. Are there additional guests for introduction? Rolling back down the calendar to communications. I have no further communications, Mr. Speaker. Madam Clerk, are there any reports to standing committees? The Labor and Commerce Committee considered House Bill 180, Money Services Business Requirements and Licensing, attaches 1-0 fiscal note. Signing the report do pass representatives Stutes, Wool, and Keto. No recommendation, Sullivan Leonard, Josephson, Birch, and Knopp. The report was signed by Representative Keto Chair. The bill has a further referral to the Judiciary Committee. Refidees. <laughs>
Will the House please come to order? I believe we just went through standing committees, reports of standing committees. Is that correct, Madam Clerk? The Judiciary Committee considered sponsor substitute for House Bill 216 transfers from dividend fund crimes, recommends it be replaced with committee substitute for sponsor substitute for House Bill 216 Judiciary with a new title, attaches four new fiscal notes and three new zero fiscal notes. Signing the report due pass, Representatives Kopp, Ledoux, Millett, Christ Tompkins, Clayman, Amend, Eastman. The report was signed by Representative Clayman Chair. The bill has a further referral to the Finance Committee. The Labor and Commerce Committee considered House Bill 273, Extend Marijuana Control Board, attaches one new fiscal note. Signing the report due pass, Representatives Sullivan Leonard, Stutes, Wool, Birch, Knopp, and Keto. No recommendation, Josephson. The report was signed by Representative Keto Chair. The bill has a further referral to the Finance Committee. The Labor and Commerce Committee considered House Bill 274, Extend Board of Psychologists and Psychological Associate Examiners, attaches one new, zero fis one new fiscal note, signing the report due pass, Representatives Sullivan Leonard, Stutes, Wool, Josephson, Birch, Knopp, and Keto. The report was signed by Representative Keto Chair. The bill has a further referral to the Finance Committee. The Labor and Commerce Committee considered House Bill 275, Extend Board of Massage Therapists, attaches one new fiscal note. Signing the report due pass, Representatives Sullivan Leonard, Stutes, Wool, Knopp, Keto. No recommendation, Josephson and Birch. The report was signed by Representative Keto Chair. The bill has a further referral to the Finance Committee. I have no further reports of standing committees today, Mr. Speaker. Are there any reports of special committees? Brief at ease. Will the House please come to order? At this time, the House will stand at recess till the call of the chair.